So guys and girls, back here with another video. Um, today we're installing the rest of the induction kit. Um, I've got my custom ECU holder by Lewis Gilbert, so I'll insert a link to his Facebook here and his Instagram and stuff like that. I'll show you a quick pit, well, I'll show you now actually. Um, these are what they look like. So, a couple of the options. So you can get the ST badge, I believe, changed to the RS one. Uh, you can get this panel here, laser cut, any logo. So you could have your Instagram name, Cyvex, Hypertune, KMS, whatever you want, or the standard ST225. Uh, it comes with the free sprigs in the back. I've put an extra few bolts on mine, just so I can lock it into the car more on the mounts. Um, pretty clean design. It's got the bolts inside as well to plug your ECU, well, tape your ECU in. Yeah. Um, I did order more stuff off of AirTech, but I got the wrong size trumpet and I got the wrong size filter for the trumpet, so it didn't fit the hose, didn't fit the cone, so I managed to pick this one up off of um, a guy I know called Chris on Instagram under Tiggs C or T yeah, Martin, something like that. Um, he managed to do me a good deal for that pipe. Um, I've obviously got the pro hoses. So I got all black. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, Jubilee clips. But um, I have ordered more stuff from Wishpeg Engineering. So a Cosworth cone filter with the trumpet. So it should all fit on afterwards. But I'll use this for now. This is the BDP Ram Air cone, I believe. So it's pretty much the same as Ram Air, just with the BDP logo. So I shall get a camera set up and cut to the part where we are taking out the old induction kit. I haven't got a stock one, I've got a KN cold air induction kit. It's it's alright, but it's got flat spots in it, so I wouldn't really recommend using it, but I'll probably be selling it for like 20 quid, 30 quid. So if you want a little induction kit that has a nice sound to it, hit me up. So guys it might be really hard to hear me, but so I have got to take out this old kit. So I just need to undo this Jubilee clip here, this bolt here that bolt there and then the air filters right right down there so I just need to undo that so I'll have to take the headlight out for that and the ECU is bolted on here with four bolts so one here two two here and then one right underneath at the back pretty good better from that side take all that out and then install the new kit ECU holder goes on these little sprogs here these little holders so I shall set the camera up and you can see me uninstall that and then obviously it might be different to your stock stock kits if you've got them but I also need to take off this heat shield thing. Alright so I just cut to that part. Uh, so guys what you want to do first as well whilst doing this, if you can see me, is you want to take off the cover, so unclip this, probably really hard to hear me, so take off your back cover, pop it to one side and you want to undo the positive then the negative terminals on the battery put a little cloth over it so it doesn't retouch really and then obviously take away the ECU because you know, there's power running into it Take the headlight out first from my car. Now I just need to take off my cone down here. I believe it's like a six. Six 
So this is the old filter. Pretty small, pretty shit. So if I take you now over here, uh, I'll set up the camera so you can see me take off all of these. my ECU out. Move it to one side. Just need to unclip these pipes. You take off the map as well. And just maneuver your airbox out of the way. That's the standard k &M one that it came with. Take your math off as well, make sure you keep that. Right, just so everyone's clear, I had to remove the trunk in off of these wires, insulate all the old wires up, so it didn't fall off. I'll redo this in a sec. But I also then had to pull my um, coon hose out here and put this wire over the top because there's another wire down here. You want this? You want them all over the top so you can maneuver the ECU all the way up to here. You don't want to stretch the wires too much or anything like that. Um, so obviously just try your best to move over, insulate all the old wires up and obviously get onto the part where you put your EC in the holder, so I shall cut to that. Right, grab your EC holder, so obviously undo the front face. Take the face off, put it to one side. So I've got a bit of vinyl under here, set the letter in, it's coming up orange. Right, what you want to do first, put the ECU inside of it because it's a hell of a lot easier. I put it down here and then trying to get it in. See, that's some screw holes inside it. Do my own on the top and bottom. I already tested this once and this is the best sort of position it fits in.
So <coughs> grab your ECU holder, pop it on. Then put your face back on, slide it over the top. Put your screws holes back in. So guys, that is the ECU holder all installed. Next part, getting the induction kit on. So the cone, U-pipe and the MAF. So let's get to that. Right, so guys, so what we're gonna do is first is take this off here. Keep these Jubilee clips spare. Replace it with the pro hose. So just stop that way. Put your math back in. I don't think there's any particular way this needs to go in. I think this goes size into the air filter. Two hours later. That's not going nowhere. Plug your math back in. That's the sound. Then last not but not least, your filter. So I'm pretty sure it's a bit of a tight squeeze, but Obviously, you can get the RS back pipe to cover this all up. But let me. Put this last Jubilee clip on first.
perfect. It's a bit squished, but I think that's as good as we're going to get right now. Unless we move this this clip up here, but we get this one on first. Let's see how it looks. Alright, I think that's in. So let me connect everything up and we'll go from there. Let's see what it sounds like. I'll try and do some drive-bys as well. And the last thing to do guys is to take these off. So you literally just press them together. They should just pop off. Let me turn the car on. So guys, I just realized I really abruptly ended the video. So you've probably just seen the car going down the motorway with the new induction kit. I've literally since then had the new induction kit gun. Well, Wishpeck sorted me out, got me a trumpet and an RS crossover. Well, cone, sorry. This is what it looks like. So now I've got this big off cone, which sits a lot better. Like it's not, it's just about touching the plastics of the engine, but I can sort that out and move it back a bit more. And the trumpet as well is just slightly to one side, so you've got more room to put it up this way. Obviously, I just need to get the RS back pipe, but everything else is all done. Um, but like I said, you will not be able to hear the induction kit or the cone. Let me get in the car. Actually. You will not be able to hear the um, induction kit over over the exhaust. The exhaust is way too loud. Um, I am looking to change the exhaust, maybe something like a resonator or a couple of back boxes or something like that. If anyone is interested in swapping the exhaust, it is 
So it's like a standard downpipe, standard decap, like a three inch decap, I think. Then it goes 2.75 inch Miltec non-res like center pipe. Then the bat box, there's there's no bat box, it's just three inch tailpipes, um, custom made, like welded and fabricated. Um, it's on sleeves as well. Um, but I swapped the middle section and the uh, rear bit. It's pretty much, I mean, because it's all straight through, it's pretty much louder than a KMS section 18. Um, it roars a lot more, it pops and bangs a lot more because I think where it goes from 2.75 inch to 3 inch, it's like the opposite of Scorpion or Cobra Venom, sorry, exhaust. So it pops and bangs a lot more when you're driving. Like, I don't even have to do the little clutch thing. And from the videos where you can hear it popping and banging, that's what you get from like a stage one or two pop and bang map. I'm stuck, there's nothing on the car other than induction kit, exhaust, a couple of supposedly block mod stuff like that. There's no remap on the car to make it pop and bang, it's just the car itself and the exhaust. So if it's something you're looking for for a stock car, I highly recommend it. I'm only looking for maybe like a KMS Thunderstorm, Mongoose Section 59, Miltec Ultimate, or you like a Scorpion or something like that. Something that's got either one or no back boxes, but you know, a middle section, middle res, something like that. So let me know. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Um, let me know what you want to do in the next one. Big changes hopefully happening to the car, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Compared to the days when I was in the lab, only day one to me, all the rest trash. Y'all made excuses, I was making rest. Stop me like, guys, child, that's too bad. Why well, you wanna watch your mouth before I pop off in the camp cross? Uh huh. Days I wanna rest, no doubt, but I pop off in the camp cross? Uh huh.